Today is a real cool day. I'm here at uh, Liquid Springs headquarters in Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, I am getting the True Earth um, leveling system, aka campsite uh, leveling, installed on my uh, 2020 Holiday Rambler Vacationer 35K gas coach. In the previous videos, uh, you if you had watched them, uh, we already have the four corner five link uh, liquid spring suspension system installed on our coach. Phenomenal system. Uh, so today we're going to be putting in a beta test unit. And so I'm going to be uh, field testing it for the next couple of months. And it will be the newer uh, version installed in the uh, for the Gen 3 and the Gen 2 uh, liquid springs uh, true earth leveling system. So pretty excited about it. Stay tuned. We'll take you along for the journey. All right, we're in the uh, in the Liquid Springs uh, shop area. Now this is where they uh, prep and install all the uh, systems for not only the um, overland vehicles, but also for the Class A uh, gas coaches. Now here behind me is our uh, our coach and uh, they're just getting prepped and ready to install the new uh, digital driver's interface, new rate valves and then also new um, software and some new other hardware uh, to get the current system all set up and working properly for true earth or campsite leveling. So we're pretty excited about that. All right, we're uh, just uh, kind of showing you a uh, overview of uh, what's going on. There's our uh, technician. Very, very cool. Now this is the uh, this is what they call the basically engineering section uh, where they're installing uh, my system. Of course, it's up on jacks underneath and all supported correctly. And then uh, over here is uh, where they do the actual installs. So you can uh, see they got the uh, an F550 Elevations off-grid show truck right there. It's a SEMA show truck. Another customer's unit that's uh, getting an install. And then a, another customer's uh, uh, unit over there, and that's an F550 uh, also. No, excuse me, that's an F350. All right, here's the uh, new digital uh, driver's interface. These are the old rate valves, and that is the old uh, electronic control unit and uh, power supply for the power module. All right, we're, uh, we're here again with uh, Eric, and uh, we're going to go over the new True Earth leveling for my uh, Liquid Springs Four Corner system. So, uh, Eric, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so we'll go over how the touchscreen operates because it does offer more features than the standard touchpad. Um, so if you want to go ahead and turn it on and we can see how the screen lights up and powers up. So there you see the logo and there it's equalizing the system as we speak because we got a different set of valves installed. So it's just trying to level the chassis back out. Okay. So this screen, you can still see, you still got your sport ride quality section, still changes the same. Um, this is still going to function the way as the touchpad did. But now you also got your height, same thing. This all functions the way it should. You can still raise and lower the chassis. 
this part still stays the same as the touchpad. The basic functions are still the same. So we'll command it back to normal ride height. And then we'll go over some of the features that the touchpad has over the, or the touchscreen has over the touchpad. Okay. So, you want to do this one next? Yeah. Or, okay. Yep. So, yep. That, this that's button fine. right there, that's your True Earth. So, this will basically get you into True Earth mode so you can see your roll and pitch, but also you can see how far each strut is extended for the travel limit. So basically all you got to do is just to get to true earth mode is you just hit auto and the chassis will level out on its own. You don't have to hit the parking brake um, just like you with the compared to the jacks they're installed. But once it zeroes out and the lights quits flashing, the chassis is leveled out. It's actually very smooth. Yeah. It's... Uh... The transition is uh, is certainly you can feel it, but it's not a jerking motion or anything like that. It's a nice, smooth. Okay, so it looks like our pitch is uh, almost there, and there, there we go. So when it stops blinking auto, yep. then we're uh, then we're set. Yep, huh? your pitches and rolls, or you can see, are zeroed out now, and you may be within. I think like half a degree, sometimes off, till it levels it out. Um, but now you can see how far each strut, it's either compressed or... Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Or extended. So, so this, the the 74%, so everybody understands, that is, it's 74% of travel extended, right? Correct. Okay. So that rod is extended 74% of its travel that it can do. Right. So uh, by the looks of it, our right rear is up on a, it's actually up on a, like a bump. So, uh, or, or a bad part of the, the, the parking lot, uneven part of the parking lot. And you can see, so it's travel is a lot less. Correct. Okay. And then once you're basically after this, you can just either shut the interface off or shut ignition off. And okay. it's always going to stay there until you either put it in gear or you take it out of, Earth leveling to get it ready for drive mode. Um, and we've had vehicles on our lot sit here for two weeks and barely any kind of movement after two weeks with set on true earth. So, but yeah, this is um, very simple. And also when you get out of true earth, it's a much smoother transition than with the jacks, how the jacks and sometimes how they drop. Okay, or yeah. Or the chassis can jerks a lot. So now we just basically get out of it. Now it's going back. And you can feel the chassis move a little bit, but there again, it's still a it's still a yeah. nice smooth yep. uh, transition. And then when you know you're ready, come on, there you go. So once the normal okay. lights lit solid again, it means you're ready to go. The chassis is ready for driving. And then you can uh, just drive off. So so yep. say for instance, we're in campsite mode, and. Um, we're ready to go, and I just decide to put it in drive and go. Yep. Yeah, you can take off even when it's in true earth. If you're ready to leave, you can just take off, and the chassis will level back on. Fa fantastic. So it's a much quicker, easier system than I think the jacks are, the way the jacks are, how they operate. Okay. So that's going to true earth. Next is kind of going over the next screen. So... This is where if you want to raise all corners or depressurize all corners or if for some reason you need to put in calibration, but also that is now the power button. Mm -hmm. um, so basically you can just hit it, system shuts down, and then you'll see the screen eventually black out, which is perfectly fine. Okay. So if you want the uh, screen to, or you want to wake up the system again, you just... Yep. just tap the screen again. And oh, then, very good. There, there's your power yep, button. And then you just hit the power button. The system is back on now. Um, okay. And you can do that. To, you know, if you're at setting up for a campsite, you can still shut it off if you want, which that's what we normally told people in okay. the past. But with the True Earth, it doesn't make a difference now. So it's really up to you if you want to turn it on or leave it on. It, it's it, always it going to stay at True Earth if, once you set it until you get it out of True Earth mode. Um, and then as you can see here, you can see this update button as of down the road, 
we can eventually, well, we will be able, even with this touch screen, and because of the software ECU that he's got, we can send now updated files. So if something, we make changes down the road, we can email you the file, and then you can basically plug the USB stick in, mm -hmm. which will be instructions on how to do that. It's very simple to do. And you can basically update the software, make any changes, or any changes that we want to do to a motorhome, we can just send it out by email instead of before pull the ECU mm -hmm. off, mail it to us. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now wow. we can just do everything basically, if you want to call it remotely. Yeah. Pretty much yeah, how yeah. we can do that's, it now. I mean, uh, that's second best to over the air update, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Um, next is we'll go over the settings button. So here you can kind of see all the buttons. Like, so if you want to go straight to where your normal sport and comfort, your home screen or your true earth screen, um, and you also have a diagnostics button. Okay. So basically if there's an issue with the system, you can go over that, but also in this screen, you can see what the motor's doing, what, how our system's operating, the temperatures, the pitch and roll. If you hit expanded data, you can see if make sure part of our system's working. So if you want to press the brake pedal, you can see you no know, brake on or off. There, there you we can go. See brake yep. on. Um, you can see when the motor is operating, when the dump valves are operating, and basically when the rate valves are operating, which rate valves is what controls your true earth and also your side to side motion. And then you got your um, your isolation valves. When you're not sitting there, you're not using them. And then you got your uh, corner heights, which are showing what each corner sitting right now, even though this is for drive mode, just because the bump that we're sitting on is right. throwing the suspension off just a little bit. And then those are your voltages voltages yeah. for each height sensor, so we can see what each height sensor is doing. And then uh, it knows this is in four corner mode, and actually I don't see the steering sensor <laughs> anymore. Uh, Ah, right there's your right steering there. angle. Yep. So yep. you can see Fantastic. your steering angle when you're moving the steering wheel. So this is a new feature that we're putting in there for uh, anyone with the, the, the touch screen gets this feature automatically. And okay. then if we go back to the Diag, if any kind of fault or anything happens to the system, you'll actually see an alert here, which it says nothing right now. But if there was a fault, it'll tell you what the fault is. Um, and then you can just give us a call or sometimes it may tell you, uh, give you, give you some basic information on what that fault is, what it means. But, um, but if you got any questions, just now, always now so call. there'll be a written fault alert. And then will there any, be any visual other than written? Like just be a written warning. Written, okay. You'll just warning. see basically if I remember on one of them, as soon as you turned ignition on, um, it popped up with a warning right away. And told you the system faulted out. Okay. And it came up with the fault. What it's showing you, and you just press the. If I remember, there's an information tab, which we're still kind of messing with this a little bit. Yep. Uh, but uh, it basically then you just click the info tab, and it should just pull up what what's going on with the system exactly. Uh, next, going back to your settings. Um, so we got uh, your. Oh, where did you went there? So you got your settings here. And get it to work so now this is for actually for your touch your touch screen how you want it to work so this is in dark mode um you can actually change it oh, so wow. where it okay. looks like that and then actually i'll go back to the main screen to see oh wow okay yeah so you got yeah. two options on that um just depends on what you prefer yeah. actually i like the dark better and then yeah. uh so we'll switch it back to dark and then you got your sleep timeout and this is up to you if you want to shut the screen off when you're not using it. It'll just go into sleep. Oh, okay. All right. So you got, you know, one minute, five minutes, ten mm -hmm. minutes. I don't know if anyone will ever be changing it. I think most people will probably just leave it as never. Never. Because you can always mm -hmm. see the interface. Yep. Um, or you can adjust your brightness. Uh, the buzzer alarm, don't know yet what that does. Because I just saw that earlier today. Okay. And that just goes over. No, the wireless connectivity that's so that's a feature that's not out yet okay um that is eventually where you can 
download an app um, through your phone and you can control the system through your phone so if you're outside trying to level a motorhome or you want to check basic operation of the system you can do it outside while the vehicle's running because the interface has to be powered up in order for it to work but it, it runs off of Bluetooth um, but like as of right now that's not released yet uh, hopefully sometime sometime this year that feature is released but these are already all set up for them so once it's released you're already good to go and um, that goes over Right. Wow. Pretty much on everything on the interface. Now uh, I see a maintenance tab there. The uh, that, which that was where the that was where the di yeah. Okay, got it. Got the it. Calibration okay. yep. corners yep. and the update. Fantastic. And okay. So now this is the home button. That is the basically or, the or, home yeah. Okay. or yeah, your right. main screen to while you're driving the system. Okay. Well, I tell you what, why don't we um, reposition the camera, and I want to get outside okay. so we can actually see the uh, the movement. All right. All right? Yep. And I will operate it from in here. Fantastic. Okay. So we're, uh, as you can see, we're parked on a uh, bump, and... Uh, Right now, we're going to go into True Earth Leveling. Now, Eric is in there uh, putting it into uh, True Earth mode, and as you can See, now he'll uh, go ahead and take take it out now. And you can kind of see the coach going back to normal ride height. And at normal ride height. All right, we're going to call this a wrap. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video of the Liquid Spring True Earth Leveling. I call it AKA Campsite uh, Leveling uh, install and, and demo on it. Uh, look for the system to be coming out in uh, the mid mid-May time frame and uh, first of June time frame, depending on what your version of uh, Motorhome is, uh, F53 gas chassis. Uh, but until next time, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit, hit that like button. Also throw a comment in. If you have a question, leave it down there and we'll uh, get an answer for you as soon as possible. Again, Thank you for coming along and uh, safe travels.